A quick video using Modbus Simple version 14 to troubleshoot the ultrasonic flow meter uh, that has, uh, we're going to read uh, various registers. So this one we're going to register 5, which is the velocity. And in this case, I've set the um, pipe diameter here to 0, and we should see 1.234 something. So I set it to 5, 2 bytes. Uh, the slave, the Modbus, the slave ID, no parity, 9608, and it's F code 3. And this is is uh, set to not uh, not be PLC. And so when I read this, this is the uh, the velocity. So I could turn on the latch and read it, blah blah blah. But uh, then what we want to see is let's look at something that fluid sound speed that's a static. Most of the things you can be reading are IEEE 754s, which is uh, float. These are IEEE 754 A, B, C, D. So 7 will be the fl fluid sound speed. So 6, 7, it's 2 bytes. And that's 1376. Um, so that's correct. And this is the, um, let me go to 5. And you could see and turn on the latch. And look at, these are the values that are being read back. These two values represent this float. Um, this is the um, the this is this, and this is what I'm sending. I'm sending at um, slave ID one, F code three, um, uh, address five or register five, two bytes. And then um, this is the uh, CRC. So this is what I send. Watch, I'll change this to 767, and we'll be reading that number. So this is what you send, and this is what you, you read when you parse it out, and this is what the read is on the um, other side. So when I go to 5, you'll see this is changing. So this is in hex, and I'm going to change this to decimal just for for a bit. You can read that. So here's a representation of a varied number. Now I'm going to go to a fixed number so you can see how to parse these out. Here's how you parse out uh, 1376 in decimal. And here's how you parse out, parse it out in hex. Notice these are two bytes. Go to one byte, boom, stuff doesn't work anymore. Well, all right, so that should give you a big overview.